Rory Mannion. I can hear the weaver through the walls. Son of a bitch is gloating, I know it. How are you holding up? I dropped a couple of nightlights to lure the phantoms away. Put sticky notes on every goddamn thing I'm sure isn't a mimic. You? Good. Safe inside the armory. Squashed a mimic that slipped in, but that's it. I got everything sealed tight. What's our plan? Wait for rescue? <laughs> you know, if we make it, Alex is just going to pull our mods. You want to remember this shit? I think we could get out through the guts. Work our way up to the Arboretum. <sighs> okay. Say the word. That's rough. So they made it all the way out to this stage when everything goes to hell and everyone's dying. And then he didn't make it out. He he made it like as far as I did in a lot of ways. He had these different setups to defend himself. He had the gun. He knew about the mimics. He had a the psychotron, whatever it's called. He had the, he had the helmet piece to help out. He had a glue gun. He, he knew to check for mimics, and he was even sealing doors and stuff like that to make the whole thing manageable. But he ultimately got taken out. There's just so much, just so many ways to die around here, probably. Can I go back out that way? Oh, I actually can. I actually fit. Fuck. Where's that phantom? That's not good news. Okay. He didn't care about that. Thought I'd attract him towards me with that. Might as well use whatever turret they give me. Bonus health. <laughs> Trying to, trying to get him as he comes in here, hopefully, but we'll see. Am I in stealth again right now? I guess I am. I might get another free bonus damage hit. That's bad. That's also bad. He was not very close to me. There was a freaking... There's a Mimic. Oh, he shot at me and it ignited the whole thing and that caused the, uh... Sneaky. That caused this whole thing to open up. Whoa! A lot of stuff. Okay, so he, he opened the window which made a Mimic come out. Is it dead? It is dead. Okay, it died. Concerned. Okay. Whew. Well, let's deal with you. Don't need all of you in my way now. I'm still just burning through all the food. Damn, I was just trying to explore this room, but I had to see I had to go and see a freaking surprise phantom before I could even finish checking it out. Hello? Electric Junction, break that and we're gonna have a problem. Let's try not to. A lot of stuff labeled as not mimic in here. I think everything on the entire shelf is labeled as not mimic. Looks like, looks like it's all safe. Was that a not a mimic freaking bookmark inside? How do you see that? Easily. Oh well. I'm definitely worried that all these glowing objects are gonna make me miss something I want to find in here. Like that, basically. Alright, we're now in the middle of the room. At this point, if there's anything left in here, it should have triggered by now, I think. So I think we're safe. Don't really see any computer displays for me to interact with yet. Nothing stashed on top of these things. 
up here. Nope, not for the moment. Ooh. Take that. Behavioral biometrics. Don't hear anything at the moment. No wave transmitter. Oh. That's a new one. Developed in psychotronics, the Nolo transmitter emits a burst of signals which suppress the psionic abilities of anyone caught in the blast for a short period of time. Can be thrown or fixed like usual. Does that mean it can be used against enemies like that to make them not shoot me with turrets? And then I can just probably just beat them to death? Typhon Mimesis Part 1. Using Moss Bauer spectro Spectroscopy. Spe spectroscopy. <laughs> Damn it. Screw, screw it. Uh, we track hyperfine splitting of an isotope embedded in the target object. In this case of standard trans star coffee mug, the creatures seem to have a weird affinity for them. If the mimic actually altered its atomic structures to duplicate the target object, then we would expect the reading to be consistent in the duplicated object. When the alteration occurred, the reading was present, but the frequency had changed. The new object was on a different time scale than the original. Let's try something here. Do I specifically need to have you enabled in order to find the mimics? Is that how this works? To say... Discredited, debated hypothesis. A. Hallucinogenic field. The mimics project a field that causes observers to think they see the object. B. Transmutation. Mimic literally reconfigures its atoms and molecules while somehow maintaining its own subjective consciousness. C. Pocket dimension. Mimic swaps places with the object in a parallel dimension but stays connected via a wormhole. I'm wondering, I haven't really had the mimic detection thing help me out so far. Like, is it, am I supposed to be using this thing, I wonder? Because it is a mod for this, so I guess I probably have to have it enabled, right? When I think there's a mimic nearby? I can just keep this on at all times. It'd just be kind of irritating to listen to this buzzing noise all the time. Isn't it fascinating? There's something almost angelic about those golden filaments like frozen light. The typhoon wave it out of thin air. The question is why? We have a lot of theories, but no solid answers. Not yet. I wish you were with me, Morgan. Not the way you are now. The way you used to be. I know we could tackle this together. Like old times. Let's find out what these buttons do. Is that a mimic or an item? What is that? That's a telescope. I think the idea is that they were revealing these items to the Mimics, so the Mimics would then turn into them. The Mimic probably came out of that tube or something. Ah, uh, maybe through this thing? I want to see a Mimic and confirm its location so I can then try to see if I can tell where it is based on this thing or not. But I want to listen to that sound constantly because I actually actively dislike- I actively dislike listening to that sound. Why can't I throw all that paper away? I can pick up a crumpled paper for some reason. Oops. I can pick up one crumpled paper like this and be like, I'm going to go throw this one piece away and, and use this and turn it into material yields, but I can't do that with a, a whole stack of it for some reason. A lot of stuff I can pick up. Is all this stuff not stacking or what? Mimic tumor. The way it's... Yeah, so I can... I can Typhon organ uh, takes up... You can stack 20 of them at once. But Mimic Tumor. Nope, impossible. Weird. It's starting to feel like dog residue, the way that you can't stack it. Really the best you can do. What? Wait, you can stack it. Wait, is it like dog residue? Does it actually... Wait, why isn't my stuff stacking automatically? Will sorting do that? 
23. I think hitting sort made things auto stack, but I don't know why it wasn't stacked in the first place. That's weird. Huh. Well, my inventory's less full. At least. Freaking dog residue, man. Alright. Just, just photos of it? Yep. Ah. I kind of miss when I used to be able to zoom in without hearing buzzing noises in my ears. It's actually kind of loud. No food or drink in this area. Alright. Let's see what you got. Response to Mimic Theory. Uh, sorry. Original Mimic Theory. From Rory Mannion to, uh, to... Demi and Lynn. This is Rory's station. The guy we de found dead outside. Time to place your bets on how this actually works. My money's on number two, obviously. For them, the, the hallucinogenic field is one, pocket dimension was two, and transmutation is three. So slightly different order here, but same ones. After the last six months here, I'm going with four. Magic. Dome Taker, from Matthew Connolly to Rory Mannion. Dome Taker three, pilgrimage to the autarky. Is that even a real word? Like, not even autoc autocracy or anything? Uh, of the domed... Uh, uh, Altarkery of the Domed arrived at my last drop. Let me know if you'd like a download. The caves are all handcrafted. Huh. Handcrafted caves. What are we talking about? Is this a video game? I assume? Mystery Man from Annalise Galagos to Rory Mannion. Does, does Lanzetta ring any bells? Dr. Gus Lanzetta. What if I told you he worked with us for a week? One week! The week before the entire science staff had last quarter's neuromods removed, he left his badge in the locker. I had IT look up his account, and it had been all, all deleted. All but his credentials. Who the hell was he? That's fucked up. <laughs> the idea that there are people that work with you and you lose track of them because they're deleted. Like, well, they, they probably die in an accident and then everyone gets their neuromods removed so you forget about the accident. Introduce null wave transmitter to test chamber to suppress mimics abilities. Warming NWT void test results. Where was the mimic? Unavailable. Did anything get triggered, though? Is there just not a mimic in there? Because that thing looks like it's going to be a mimic if I go in there. Weird. Also, that's like the one cigar I can't pick up. Like, those are all, all over the place. iPhone lure. Rory, I've loaded another night light, as requested. Up to the psycholuminescence. The t uh, this time, the Typhon ought to follow the lure like an imprinted duckling. That seems dangerous. Let's quick save. <laughs> Is it dangerous? Am I just gonna hear whispering now? Well, this is a trip. So, I assume I have, like, every form of cancer now. And I'm permanently under their control or something. Right? Can't scan that? Surely I should be able to scan that for something. That's weird. You hear the whispers for a bit afterwards, too. I wonder if, uh... I wonder if our f our brother was exposed to that stuff for too long, and that maybe explains what he's up to. What the f fuck? The hell is that? Gross. Gross. Also, this whiteboard's trying to pretend that there's not a door here. There's totally a door here. Ah. You were a mimic. Where did it go? That was a mimic. I thought I had mimic detection. Let's check. Ch chip scope, chipsets. Detection of hidden mimics. Okay. 
How do I use it then? It says O. Does that mean I have to press O? Nope, O takes me here. To my objective screen. I don't know what's going on there. I thought it lets you see Mimics. That was clearly a Mimic, so I pointed it at it and didn't detect it. But now I don't know where the hell he went. I mean, on that note, I pressed that thing over there, and that was supposed to make Mimics get revealed, and I used that, and he was still a Mimic? But he didn't get revealed. Not entirely sure. Also, he seems to have disappeared instantaneously, so maybe... Maybe it's all one problem simultaneously. Maybe the thing just glitched? I'm thinking it glitched. I'm thinking that that thing was just glitched out, and that, uh... The Neuromod thing, uh... The computer didn't work on it, and my my scope didn't work on it, and then my melee attack seems to make it... Like, I didn't even... I don't see a body anywhere, so I can think even the Neuromod thing, like it... I mean, the melee thing, like it just... It just vanished, and that's it. Like, it just didn't exist, but the game thought it existed enough to, to give me a message saying it existed or something, when I attacked it. Not sure. That was just weird. Gonna poke around. Don't hear any bad noises yet. Hello! Now that's some good news. How are we doing? Five? I'm probably ready to spend that on something, aren't I? What was I thinking real earlier? That's more side pool. That wasn't there before, was it? Yeah, it, I'm th I think it was, yeah. Leverage 2 is an option. Gunsmithing I might want to save up for. More recycling yield is a good thing to get earlier than later, I suppose. This is the stuff that lets you upgrade other types of weapons besides just the regular guns, right? This is makes you better at spamming wrench attacks, basically. Or this, whereas this gives you more damage with all security weapons. Uh, I should probably getting be getting that, huh? Yeah. Keep noticing new, th more things in the tree because it's hard, it's a lot to keep in my brain all at once, all the, all the different things on this thing. So I get focused on one thing, and I should probably switch around here and there. So while this will let me upgrade the guns to a higher level, sure, this is a flat upgrade to the damage of all the security weapons, and I didn't have that yet, and it costs less less points. And it probably gives me more damage than the next two upgrades to my shotgun was going to anyway. So it's good to good to notice it now, I suppose. What's in here? They're trying to keep me out, and this is one of those, like, bulletproof things I can't get through. Got to scan him, at least. Are you gonna try to hide now? So I take it what happened there is that was a demonstration of the thing that's supposed to lure them around. And now, now he's nice and revealed. Except I don't really have a way to get inside. I don't think. Huh. He chases after it. What opens this door? Maybe nothing? Maybe the, maybe the designers want to keep it there as a way of uh, showing you how the, that mimic lure works. I think we're pretty much done here. And this loops around back to this location. Cool. I know where I am. We haven't checked you out yet. You poor guy, I'm sorry. No more weird sounds in here as far as I can tell. I guess the one mimic in here got set off when we when all that stuff was going down earlier. Kind of took care of the situation. Ooh, more bullets. Thank you. Typhon Mimesis Part 3. Many explain how mimic oh sorry, may explain how mimics arrived here and how at least one survived in the vacuum inside the Kletka for so long. 
they can move to an adjacent dimensional bubble, where time passes more slowly, shifting back with the appro appropriate stimulus, ex example, prey. From the Mimic's perspective, a six million year journey to our solar system in the form of an iron meteor might only take a few seconds. These things are the ultimate trapdoor spiders. Fuck that. <laughs> Fuck that. Don't want any of that. Don't need no spider monsters in my game. What do we have here? Status report 37. From Mitsuko Tokaji to Helen Barker Combs. Helen, 37 has shown signs of further instability in the last 24 hours. Subject demonstrated morbid curiosity in the small objects around him, attempting to place them in his mouth and consume them. Nutri nutritive and non nutritive. Initial diagnosis would seem to be rapid onset pica, but there was no evidence of this prior to exposure to the telepath. We're not ruling out suicide attempts, although the subject isn't making an effort to hide it. I'll be performing an endoscopic exam next shift to make sure nothing is lodged in the esophagus or intestines. In response to 37 suicide watch update from Christopher Smith to Helen Barker Combs. Dr. Helen Barker Combs, 37 is still under suicide watch. As requested, the prisoner hasn't been given any sedatives to keep his system clean for upcoming surgery. No food either, only water. He doesn't do much except rock back and forth, staring at the same point in the wall and mumbling to himself in Russian. Can't make out what he's saying. He's made no attempt to hurt himself that we've seen. This volunteer doesn't seem to be suicidal. He seems disoriented, like he's sleep drunk. Security Officer Smith. From Hans Kelstrup to Helen Barker Coombs. Uh. Encephalectomy, I would say, is probably what that's pronounced. Helen, I think we've gotten just about all we're going to get out of 37 by talking. I want you to schedule surgery within the next few days. Let it... Let's get it out and into analysis as soon as possible. No, yeah, get it out. So there's something inside it they're trying to get out of his body. So they can look at it. Is it like a tumor or something growing in them? Or do we have like an alien situation going on here? Not just aliens in general, but I mean like the, the franchise alien. Oh, it fell out now. I was like, there's a thing inside that box, and I was curious. Ooh! They built that one hardy. Anything else I want to do in here? I think that's all there really was. No secret doors. If there's anything behind that, for example, I can only find it with better leverage, and that's gonna be a while before I upgrade that far. Hello, friend. I keep thinking that's like a grenade or a resource that I can pick up, but it's just garbage. As our inventory space doing not great. What's this? Asteroid fragment. That's, that's not going to filter together. Am I near recycling stuff? I've been kind of distracted by all the crap going on around me. Not really. So we've been through all this side area. Damn. Yeah, remember, I, th I thought I was just going into one little lab when I turned left here, and it turned out to be this really extensive area. Same thing is going to be happening on the other side, more or less. So let's be ready for exactly that to happen. Right. This is the person whose finger was bitten. In light of what we now know the Typhon are capable of, and not capable of, it seems prudent to revisit the Project Cobalt material. Igor, neuromods can already adapt Typhon material to the human mind. There's no reason in principle the reverse wouldn't work. Say you managed to insert human neurons into a Typhon. How will you know it was successful? The new neural structures would need to mature over a series of actual experiences. Or simulated ones. What? Simulate the experiences. Calvino, he has- Right, okay, look, it's fascinating, but let's focus on what we know is working. I don't want anyone devoting resources to this. Simulate the experiences? Is that what's happening with the intro of this game? That whole surprise at the beginning? Ah, oh, there's no, there's already no bar here. I, I bet I can get you open. Oops, sorry. Oh, now I'm just like swapping out buttons on accident. Whoops. Oh God. Layered menus. All right. 
What? Where'd you go? Did you go inside or outside? I can't tell. Let's see here. Why are you bouncing off? Huh. I mean, I grabbed that thing through the window, so there must not be a window here. It's just the bars? Just the bars being moderately annoying? So if I, say, if I aim this just right, can I get through? That one went through. There we go. Door controls. There we go. Good thing I get in afterwards so I can pick them all up, otherwise I'd be kind of screwed with all the ones I use with the crappy shots trying to arc it and everything. Wow. This is, uh... I love that this isn't just a joke weapon, and that it's genuinely, like, super useful. That's actually really- it's a- it's a really amusing mechanic that that's in this game. Human ty uh, Typhon Cell Fusion. First phase has to include the uh, cerebr cerebral division cells. Have to be split before they can be fused. Stage A. Uh, pure Kinji shell? Cell? <laughs> Analyzation of the cerebral cortex. Uh, metaphase, prophase, cell division, infusion, and stuff. Okay. You stop opening and closing. That's starting to bother me. So you just stop making noise. Don't think I could read that. It's also backwards, actually. So the, uh, the, uh, transparency is placed upside down. Engineering control systems. I think we've read this before, haven't we? Yep. I remember that. That was the same room as the, uh, as the coffee cup trick. Don't see much reason to jump on top of the light or anything. I think we're clear in this room, aside from the computer. Yep. Alright, let's, let's poke around now. So this is the person whose finger was bitten off. Didn't taste like chicken. From Helen Barker Combs to... Mitsuko Tokaji. Mitsuko, I need a report on 37's condition in my transcribe ASAP. Either that psycho's the luckiest prisoner in orbit, or worse, we've got some problem in what we're feeding the Typhon. But that can't happen again. Morgan said something about wanting to question 37, but that's low priority. He was practically unresponsive before. If nothing pans out, I'm going to prep 37 for an, uh... Esiflectomy. From Morgan Yu to Mitsuko Takaji in response to implant, mirror, neurons, and typhons. Sure, Alex will probably shoot it down, but say the idea gets off the ground. Still have two big questions to answer. What's the test environment, and whose, and whose neurons are we talking about putting them in? Volunteers are a no-go. Oh, Mitsuko is like, I'm going to bring this step up again ne next R&D meeting. Will you support me? It was so small, I didn't notice it was a separate email at first. I think this is the string of events that led to uh, our character being in a simulation, basically. I think that's what we're learning here. What kind of person are we if we were willing to go into that on purpose? I guess it's the whole point of what we're trying to figure out as we go. Our brother's rather frustrating, frustrated with the fact that we're not that person right now. What's happening up there? Oh. There's likely someone up there. An enemy. Something just got knocked down. How do you get up there? That seems hard. I guess it's where the telekinesis comes in. 